Hey guys, Dell here today, reviewing this incredible Brown Shot Perfecto. We're gonna talk about why this Brown Perfecto, what sets it apart, and maybe what Shot should consider doing uh, for their current offerings for Brown Perfectos. Uh, why should you care about what I have to say specifically? So I'm kind of a leather jacket nerd. I've been into them for the last several years, and I'm distilling my personal experience and knowledge from folks on the internet down in here into this video for you. So what is this jacket? What model is it? This is a 613GG, which is a special model that SHOT makes for the Japanese market. What really sets it apart from a standard 613? Well, it is shorter by half an inch, and it is a very clean back design, which is to say it has no underarm footballs and no uh, gusseting or action back. So it is really a smooth kind of uh, simple design for the back. Um, you know how Sh Shot is often talking about a clean Perfecto where they delete the epaulets in the belt? Well, this is like a clean Perfecto back. <laughs> this jacket still has the epaulets in the belt, but none of that uh, busyness on the back, which, hey, if you're looking for a fashion jacket, maybe that stuff is just too much. Um, what is this jacket made of? This particular jacket is, as best I can tell, made out of a specially treated uh, brown horsehide that shot made for this particular collab, which was with a Japanese brand called Swagger or SWG. And um, it is a little glossier than their standard horse hide, at least according to the description that I found, and softer. Uh, it is still a robust leather. I actually wore it out in what turned into be a kind of drizzly rainy day. And the horse hide kind of shrugged it off, the water beaded off on it. It didn't really do a lot of absorption. And uh, really kind of didn't dramatically change just from getting wet the one time, which are all signs that are pointing towards. This is a more robust leather. Um, as far as the weight of this jacket, it is about five pounds, which is roughly the same as my uh, Shot 618. Um, it is a little bit heavier when I have the, the fur collar on it, uh, but I mean, that's just a weight from the fur collar itself. Um, other features about this jacket, um, I talked about the clean belt, uh, clean back. It has... Uh, the belt, all the hardware on this jacket is brass, uh, but still the standard kind of shot robust hardware. Uh, it has standard pocket, pocket configuration on the exterior, and it has a single interior pocket on the left side, which is a convenient place to stash your cell phone or something else. Uh, if you're a right-handed person, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Sorry, lefties. <laughs> this must be something you deal with quite a bit. Um, uh, other things to note about this jacket and what it's made of, the interior is branded SWG. I mean, there's shot tags and stuff in this jacket, but it was a collab for this store and they've got their, their brand on the interior pocket and it is embossed all throughout the, uh, the lining. From a construction standpoint, it's standard shot, which is great. It is not uh, as beautiful as the highest tier Japanese manufacturers or Fetty leathers where the stitch work is kind of a work of art, but it is certainly functional and non, no problems or anything like that and very well done uh, to my eye. Um, the uh, pattern on this jacket, again, shot is very good with their patterns. The jacket feels great on. I can tell you though, with, it, with the lack of an action back or underarm footballs, you can feel the tension uh, building across the back of the jacket as you reach your arms forward that those features would normally alleviate. So if you're planning to ride a motorcycle in this jacket, you might be uncomfortable after a while because it is harder to have a full range of motion reaching forward with both arms. Uh, that being said, I'm not riding a motorcycle in this jacket. And for all of my standard day-to-day -day activities, which include driving cars, talking on the phone, uh, eating food, <laughs> picking up the kids, all that kind of stuff, uh, no problems whatsoever. Uh, it's easy to reach to the ear. It's easy to, to, to just do standard motions. Um, I do also typically wear this jacket open, but it closes up just fine and the mobility is about the same. It's slightly more restricted, which is kind of standard when you zip up your jacket. There is something about the cut of this jacket, which is different from the 618, which having not worn a 613 before, I wasn't actually familiar with whenever I uh, have been talking about the 613. And what it is, this jacket is a blunt cut across the back. The 613 kind of, I mean, sorry, the 618 
kind of dips right in the center of the back. So it's slightly longer in the center of the back than it is around the rest of the jacket. And what that actually means for this jacket is that even though it's listed as being a slightly shorter jacket, because the entirety of the back is that same longer length, rather than getting shorter around the sides of the waist and front, it actually does a great job of fitting well around the waist. In fact, I think it does a little bit easier job and maybe to modern fashion day standards, better job of covering part of the belt so that your whole belt isn't exposed. Um, you know, this gets back to functionality and the 618 as a intended as a more appropriate for riding a motorcycle cut. And the 613 is, is a slight variation on that, especially the tighter modes of the 613. And I like the difference. It's a small difference, but I do appreciate it. Now, about wearing a brown Perfecto. I am wearing today an outfit that I think um, kind of exemplifies why you may want a brown Perfecto in your life, which is to say, I'm wearing a plaid that has a lot of browns in it. I'm wearing a brown leather belt and brown leather boots. And I think that you can wear this exact same outfit with a black leather jacket and it will look good. But there, there is a desire, one, for variety in life, and two, for an outfit to have more uh, of a cohesion amongst the parts of the color palette, which is something that, you know, maybe isn't the coolest thing to talk about, but is important when you're trying to build an outfit that makes coherent sense amongst itself. Having brown to go with brown does make a certain degree of sense, doesn't it? And honestly, I think it looks fantastic. And... I think that brown in a motorcycle jacket is maybe less commonly seen since black is so very prevalent when it comes to motorcycle jackets. You know, brown, we often see flight jackets and other styles um, in brown that are not directly motorcycle jackets. Uh, you know, so like A2 and A1 flight jackets, the, the G1 with the fuzzy collar, you know, uh, uh, button up. French dispatch style, bigger coats in brown leather, uh, the Indiana Jones style coats, uh, I mean, jackets uh, are in brown. You know, those are styles that we see kind of an expectation to see those in brown and not in black. Um, whereas with motorcycle styles, we have an expectation to see them in black, not in brown, just a little bit there. So it is a little harder to find a good brown motorcycle jacket uh, that's off the rack, you know, and I think that this is an area where I, I have to say I'm kind of disappointed with Shot's current lineup. The only brown Perfecto that they offer in a shorter length, unless I'm missing something completely here, is the 618, and you can get it in an extremely dark, very dark brown steer hide that they have. Uh, when they do special releases, uh, and they release Chrome XL jackets, for example, um, they tend to be longer. Or their 626 line, you know, those jackets are longer. They're 26 inch length. And I just feel that the models that shot tends to offer in brown outside of the 618 are just too long. And I wish that they had more choice there. Uh, and so I, I really wish, for example, that we could get a jacket in this tone of brown or hell, even in this brown horse hide that was just a standard shot offering. Now, clearly there must be a reason for this. Shot knows what their numbers look like. Maybe it just would not be bought at a rate that makes sense for them to produce. Okay, fine. But as an enthusiast, it is disappointing that it is not more easily available from them. So Shot, if you're listening, it would be awesome if we had more of those cool brown Perfectos in a shorter length. What do you think about the brown Perfecto? Do you have one? Do you have a brown uh, motorcycle style jacket from another maker and you wear it all the time and it sounds silly that I'm talking about being excited about having a brown motorcycle jacket um, or would you just never consider brown for a motorcycle jacket you think it's kind of a fool's errand searching out this brown let me know what you think hope you have a great day